Adhamya Chetana is inspired by the indomitable spirit of Srimati Giricha Shastri, mother of Sri Anand Kumar, member of parliament from Bangalore South constituency. What started as a small effort in 1997 has today grown into a mammoth movement touching the lives of lakhs of school students, poor and underprivileged in society. Adhamya Chetna, in partnership with state and central governments through its Anupurna project, is providing hot nutritious midday meals to over 2 lakh underprivileged and needy students every day in the cities of Bengaluru, Hubali, Kalaburgi and Jodhpur in Rajasthan. Ata Pata, Play and Learn, a unique mobile educational resource facility. Arunya Chetna, health insurance scheme for children to take care of their health care need. Shikshaka Chetana to empower school teachers. Chinnara Chetana, an informative monthly wall magazine are some of the various activities undertaken by Adamya Chetana. Our commitment towards social activism, our holistic approach of Anna, Akshara, Arogya and commitment towards social activism are manifested in our actions. Mother Nature is most adored at Adamya Chetana. Every single step, every single process at Adamya is in sync with our resolve to preserve the environment. Several initiatives that were started to conserve nature are embedded into our systems. Over 72,000 meals per day and no garbage at the kitchen. Unbelievable! Yes! It is a way of life at Annapurna, Bengaluru. Every day, over 1,000 litres of nutritionally rich starch produced in the process is used in sambar. In the early days, our kitchen generated over 300 kgs of garbage every day. Since 2011, we are generating no garbage. Vegetable peels are used as cattle feed and also as input for compost. The kitchen at Bengaluru started its operations with LPG as fuel, switched over to diesel and is presently on biofuel. It is over half a decade now since Anupurna is saving nearly 1 lakh litres of diesel and over 12,500 LPG cylinders every year. Renewable non-petroleum briquettes are used as fuel in the biomass stove which generates steam to cook food. These briquettes are made from organic agricultural waste. A co-generation plan to produce hot water without additional fuel is in place. Residual coconut shells are used as fuel in a smokeless chula to fry over 250 kgs of masala ingredients. Pellets produced of organic waste are used as fuel for the specially designed stove at Anapurna. No diesel, no LPG, no kerosene makes Anapurna the first 100% fossil free fuel kitchen in Bengaluru. Reuse Recycle is the mantra at Adamya Chetna. Every day, over 3,000 litres of water that is used to rinse rice is recycled for watering the plants at Lalbagh Botanical Garden. Water used as filter for the suit of biomass stove is recycled to wash the vehicles. Adamya Chetna is one of the first organizations that started harnessing solar power at rooftops. The commissioning of a 5 kilowatt grid tied rooftop solar power generator has drastically reduced our dependency on external power supply. Wet waste generated at the kitchen is used to produce biogas using kitchen waste based biogas plant. The biogas generated is used as a fuel for the stove used for various heating purposes. Zero garbage dining together with zero garbage kitchen is the need of the hour. Adamya Chetna advocates Zero Garbage Dining, Anapurna Plate Bank stocks more than 10,000 steel plates, spoons and tumblers which could be borrowed by organizations, educational institutions and even individuals for their events. 
This rent-free plate bank has motivated hundreds of program organizers to go green. The Indian Institute of Science Research suggests that the ideal tree to human ratio should be 7 is to 1. Currently, it is just 1 is to 7, affecting an increase in temperature and pollution and decrease in the water table. Sri Anand Kumar has taken an oath to get back the green cover at least to 1 is to 1, which was the ratio 30 years ago in Bangalore. Anantavana is a theme plantation of sacred plants that include Rudraksha, Kadamba, Ashoka, Bilwa, Karavira and many more. In addition to the various green efforts, Salumara project is also initiated. Thousands of neem and tamarind saplings have been planted along the roadside in Ragihalli village near Bengaluru. Thousands of medicinal fruit, flowering plants and vegetable yielding saplings have been distributed among households. In order to mitigate the hazard of non-organic dry waste, plastic garbage collecting bins have been installed in various locations of Ragihalli. Awareness and sensitization programs to the villagers are conducted in addition to distribution of reusable carry bags. As a part of the Subeksha Grama project, Composite toilet and goba gas plants were built in Sankunatti and Ramatirtha villages inspired by 165 such combi plants built over two years by Adama Chetana. Today, we can see over 15,000 such combi goba plants that are replicated in the nearby districts of Karnataka and Maharashtra, resulting in the elimination of methane-based pollution significantly in that area. It is a matter of pride that our initiatives have been replicated by several other people and organizations across India. Adhamya Chetna is committed to increase the green cover on Mother Earth. Come, join us in transforming Bharat into a green Bharat. <laughs>